Hi everyone! It's me again, Dr. Gator Bredevicas. And for today's video, I'm going to answer the question, Can certain foods cause acne? So this is going to be um, a part of a series that I plan on doing all about acne because you know a lot of people are experiencing that and I do get a lot of questions related to acne. Acne vulgaris is a common skin condition that is said to occur or happen in approximately 85% of individuals during their adolescent years. I remember experiencing back in college, you know, after staying up all night, um, eating chips or munching on chocolates or peanuts, cramming for an exam or finishing a paper, I would wake up with one or two pimples on my face. And I would often wonder, could they have been due to the food that I ate? Or due to stress and lack of sleep? Or just pure coincidence? So in this video, we're gonna talk about certain foods that are often blamed um, to cause acne and if there's really any truth to those claims. Acne vulgaris, or simply acne, is a condition that happens in what we call our pilosebaceous units. So these pilosebaceous units are those tiny holes where hair and sebum or oil come out. When you have acne, you would often see blackheads and whiteheads or what we call comedones and inflammatory lesions such as your papules, your pustules, or your nodules. So your nodules are the ones that are red and inflamed and are painful to the touch. Now, even without treatment, your acne improves over time. The only thing is, when left untreated, it can leave undesirable scars and can also have a negative impact on your self-esteem, on how you feel about yourself, and eventually affect your quality of life. Now, I'm sure a lot of you who have been reading online or doing some research have come across several factors that are said to cause and contribute to acne development. But actually, there are four main processes that are said to lead to formation of acne lesions. First would be follicular hyperkeratinization. Now, this occurs when the cells lining your hair follicle doesn't normally shed and end up sticking together, which leads to the formation of your comedones. Second is increased sebum production, which is largely influenced by our hormones, particularly androgen. Third is the colonization of a bacteria that is normally found in our skin, the cutie bacterium acnes. And number four, finally, when all of these things are lumped together, your um, increased sebum production, your comedones, and your bacteria, inflammation happens. Now, apart from the four processes that I mentioned earlier, there are other factors that can also contribute to the development of acne. These include your genetics, um, environmental factors such as smoking or your exposure to the elements and even wearing occlusive cosmetics, and then, of course, your diet, which we are going to talk about today. The link between what you eat and acne has actually been controversial, but we know it and we hear it from our elders like my titas and my grandparents. But recent studies show that food might actually have a role in acne development. In this video, we're gonna talk about six types of food that are said to cause acne lesions or make your acne worse and why it happens. First type of food would include those that contain refined carbohydrates and sugars. Under this category would include your white rice and your rice noodles, your bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, or anything that is made from white flour, your sweetened beverages and your sodas, and sweeteners such as your maple or corn syrup. When you take in refined carbohydrates and sugars, it gets absorbed in our body and causes an increase in sugar in our blood. Now, this can lead to two things. First, when sugar in our blood increases, it triggers an increase in our insulin hormone. Insulin is not bad. It has a specific job of taking the sugar away from our bloodstream and putting it into our cells. Insulin makes your androgen hormones more active and causes an increase in your insulin-like growth factor 1. Number 2, the increased amount of sugar in your blood causes inflammation. Both excess sebum and inflammation can lead to acne formation. 
Food number two is cow's milk. Now, don't get me wrong, I love cow's milk. And although it's not yet clear what exactly in the cow's milk causes formation or exacerbation of acne, there are actually several theories. Milk is also known to increase your insulin levels independent of the sugar content. It is said that cow's milk contains amino acids that stimulate our liver to produce the insulin-like growth factor 1, which can cause acne severity, as well as some hormones that can trigger inflammation in the body. However, more research has to be done to know for sure and while cow's milk is related to or connected to exacerbation of acne lesions, no studies have found that other products derived from milk, other dairy products like your cheese, your yogurt, can lead to breakout. Food number three is what I call as fast food. So under this category would be your um, food that are high in calories, high in fat, and are made of refined or processed ingredients. Pizzas, your burgers, your fries, your chips, your hot dogs, even sausages. It is still quite unclear how consuming these types of food can actually lead to exacerbation and development of acne lesions, but researchers have theorized that it could be because of an influence in certain hormones and gene expressions that can promote the development of acne lesions. Number four would be your food rich in omega-6 fatty acid. This would include your corn oil, your soybeans, your chips. Now, omega-6 is not bad. We also need that in our body. It's a pro-inflammatory food that helps us fight infections, etc. But we don't want too much of it, so it is ideal that you balance it with your omega-3, which is an anti-inflammatory fatty acid. The ideal balance of these two fatty acids in our diet should be anywhere from 4 omega-6 is to 1 omega-3 or less. An imbalance between the two fatty acids, meaning high omega-6 consumption versus omega-3, pushes the body into an inflammatory state, hence exacerbating inflammatory lesions which include acne. But there have been no randomized control studies regarding the link between high omega-6 consumption and acne, and more research is needed on this. Food number five is chocolate. Now, chocolate has long been blamed for causing or exacerbating acne. They say way back into the 1920s. Even my titas and my grandparents believe that eating a lot of chocolate can actually cause acne. Studies on chocolates causing acne are actually conflicting. There was one that showed an increase in acne severity consuming milk chocolate, but then you have to remember that milk chocolate bars contain dairy, specifically milk, and sugar. So with that, you don't really know if it's the chocolate, the sugar, or the milk that caused acne. And there's another study that showed um, consumption of dark chocolate actually led to acne severity. Exactly how chocolate causes acne exacerbation is again unclear, but there have been theories proposing that chocolate in itself causes an alteration on how the immune system reacts to the acne-causing bacteria. Again, more studies are needed to confirm or deny this conclusion. And then finally, number six is your whey protein powder. Whey protein is a popular supplement that is usually taken by those who like to go to the gym a lot and those who want to build muscle. It is a very good source of amino acids which trigger the body to produce more insulin, which like I mentioned earlier, can contribute to the development of acne lesions. Now with all of the types of food that I mentioned, again, no studies prove that they cause acne. They can just exacerbate or make acne worse in those who already have it. And because I mentioned six types of food that you have to minimize in consumption, I also prepared a short list of suggestions of what you can eat instead. Now these types of food are said to um, combat or help improve acne lesions in those who already have them. In my list would include your omega-3 fatty acids precisely because they are considered anti-inflammatory food. And like I mentioned, a good balance between your omega-6 and omega-3 can help improve acne lesions. Number two would be your probiotics, which are said to balance the microorganisms in your body and promote a healthy gut, which can then lead to lower inflammation 
and lower risk of developing acne lesions. Third would be your vitamins A, D, and E and your mineral zinc, which are said to promote skin health and immunity, which help prevent acne. Number four would be a diet consisting of lean meats, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and nuts, which are associated with lower blood sugar levels and lower insulin, which can lead to reduced acne severity. Number five would be turmeric. So I've actually just learned about this ingredient maybe in the last five years, but now it's becoming more and more popular. It is said to contain anti-inflammatory properties and help regulate your blood sugar. And then last would be your green tea, which is said to contain anti-inflammatory ingredients as well and help reduce sebum production. In conclusion, I really believe that your overall eating habits has more influence in your body health and your skin health more than eating or avoiding just one particular food. And it doesn't really mean that you have to completely eliminate it out of your diet. I, for one, cannot give up chocolates and milk because I love them. It just means that, like with everything else, moderation is key. And balance is important. You have to balance it with other types of food that you eat in order to get all the nutrients that your body and your skin needs. Also remember that there are four processes that I mentioned that actually cause acne. And Food is just one factor that may contribute to worsening and development of acne lesions. And of course, no individual is the same. Each of us is different. It is still best to seek the help of a trained professional or an expert in skin, such as your board-certified dermatologist, because we will be able to assess you properly, give appropriate advice, because for all you know, it might not even be acne. So that's it. This is the end of my video. I hope you learned something from it. I hope that I was able to answer some of the questions that you might have regarding food and acne. Again, as with all the other vids that I made before, if you appreciate it, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye!